Chris asks, do you think they would have hired Dan and Jason if Ryan had not passed? Uh, no. I think if Ryan had not passed, that business would have stopped existing within nine months, 12 months, something like that. The, I, I think that... So the thing that happened was when he passed away there was a sudden influx of interest in the brand that was shocking to everyone um, at the company. Because so they were just like, ah, this video game website, whatever, who cares? Like, nah, you know. And then when that happened, suddenly it was like this huge outpouring, this massive outpouring, and seeing how many people cared and how deeply they cared. Suddenly there was like, huh. Hmm. These guys are going to walk out the door if we don't uh if we don't find a way to keep them here. And I was I was I was very close to walking out the door because of some contract situation stuff that had and and the management at the time, the guy running it was an idiot. Um and there was a situation in place where by me signing another contract, um other people made some money off of that. And so, so I ended up re-signing and, but then Ryan passed away before that money made it to him and, um, before the contract would have been fulfilled in a way that, that, that stuff happened. And so, but yes, so suddenly there was a guy who was the right hand man of the head of the company that was like, Hey, why don't you, well, let's, let's, uh, let's figure out some podcast ads. Let's figure out this, let's figure out that, you know, and and so suddenly there was a lot of interest in what we were doing because they were like, wait a minute. There's got to be a way to make money, <laughs> right? Um, and so it's the, yeah, like, but like at the time, I, you know, I, I was just about done there because they, they had really treated me pretty poorly. They had, uh, you know, they, the, the guy there, it was, it was like clear that they were just going to keep moving goalposts on us instead of, um, instead of letting us expand, you know, we were like making the case for why we needed more people. And they're like, well, what if you did these numbers? And it's like, we're already doing those numbers. Oh, what about these ones instead? Like literally happened in a meeting and it was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Um, so, so yeah, I mean, yes, the, his, his passing, um, is the only reason that I think that thing made it um, like more than a year or so, like into 2013, 2014, whatever it was. Um, because I think I, I would have, I would have been out of there. And then I think everyone was so knocked for a loop by that, obviously. And then suddenly there was this weird influx of interest in the business. And so suddenly we were spending time going like, Okay, well, uh, here's a here's a plan that gets us from this number of people to this number of people, and we're we'll hire a half. I still I still have that sheet somewhere. Like we're gonna hire, we'll get like a part time person here, and then uh, three quarters later we'll do this, and we'll shoot for this, and it was a whole plan, like a three year plan. Suddenly, none of that ever came to pass. <laughs> um, but so we ended up spending all these times in these meetings, like figuring this stuff out, and then like um. And then, you know, I, the people that would help us orchestrate that element and that would have been in place to um, force it to happen, they started leaving. So it was just like this sudden thing. It was like, oh, well, okay. I guess that's not happening. And, and you know, I think, you know, it's... Uh, yeah. You know, it's a weird... Um, it's been a weird ride. Obviously. I don't know what else to say about it. You know, that's that's... But that's... I mean, I asked Ryan what I should do and he should, you should sign that, you should sign that contract. And I was like, all right, I guess. I mean, if you, you know, if it would help you and, and you know, he was about to get married and everything. And I was like, okay. Um, I, I wouldn't have, I probably would not have signed the deal. I probably would not have stayed. Um, if he hadn't given me that advice and then, yeah, like I said, he, he was not around to, and then everything changed. You know, it, it was, yeah, it was a, it was, um, I mean, obviously it was a mess, right? I mean, you know, a guy that I had known for ever 
passing away so suddenly like that. It was fucking crushing, you know? Um, but then like, yes, the, the, all the business around it was so fucking weird too. Um, and then we kept at it for a lot of years after that. And then it was just like, I, yeah, I don't know. It was just, yeah, we, we kept going. Um, but you know, weird, weird how life happens. Weird how suddenly you blink and 10 years have gone by or whatever it was. I was, what was it, 11? No, I was, I was at GameSpot for 11 years. And then this would have been, what, 13 or something like that? I don't know. It's weird because it never felt, you know, that thing never stopped feeling like the new thing I was doing after GameSpot. Like even, even as I did it longer than, than I did GameSpot, you know? Um, and then obviously all that stuff changed in, in ways that I'm not going to go into again. This is just not even fucking worth it. But, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a fucking crazy business on its own. And then you, you mix in a bunch of real life along the way and you know, it just, uh, the weird stuff gets weirder and yeah, I don't know. Well, what time is it here? I'm going to get going pretty soon. Not to just be like, oh yeah, all this stuff happened anyway. Peace out. Um, but, but yeah, I, uh, obviously it's f fucking terrible when people lose their job, you know, especially when people that are like good at a thing, you know, it didn't, you know, you're like, oh, you're well, like skilled, talented people across these brands that are now out on the street. I think that fucking sucks. Um, and yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, thanks to everyone for, um, hanging out with this thing that I've been doing here, you know, um, and, you know, being on, being on Patreon, making it happen here. I, I, I mean it. I, I, I fucking, I love this shit. I live for this shit. This is, you know, and I live for a lot more shit now. And that's maybe part of it. You know, I changed a lot over the last, you know, five years, three, well, let's call it three and a half years, four years. Um, but you know, I, I decided, you know, this is, I decided after Ryan passed away that I needed to stop fucking around and figure out what I wanted to do with my actual life. That was the thing I took from that, you know, was like, you know, what the fuck am I doing? I've devoted every waking minute of my adult life to video games, to, th to this business. And time and time again, this business will prove to you that it does not give a fuck about you and that it will grind you into fucking dust if you let it. Um, And so I decided, you know, like, Hey, I'm going to allow room in my life for someone else. I'm going to, I'm going to try to, you know, and try to be more open. I'm going to try to, you know, the, 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 you know, I had blown relationships over video game reviews before, you know, like, um, you know, I, I bailed on dates because a review copy of a game came in and it's like funny to joke about and, and everything, you know, it's like, Hey man, fucking sorry, Tony Hawk's underground came out and, uh, came in and that's way more important than going to this, <laughs> going on this date or whatever. Right. You know, um, that, I, that one I stand by thug is a fucking awesome fucking game. Um, but the, the thing I decided, you know, is that I'm, I'm gonna try to make room for both. I'm going to try to make room for, you know, to have a family. I'm going to try to make room to settle down and, and you know, all the stuff that like, I was maybe like running from in a, in a weird way or, or something, but, um, 
that it was time to figure all that shit out. And so I made a concerted effort to kind of figure my shit out and met someone, got married, settled down and, and got to a point where I was just trying to put fucking, yeah, I stopped smashing as many windows with baseball bats and, and, you know, breaking into abandoned buildings and, you know, they banned the good four loco anyway. So it's not like that was going to be fun, but, uh, but yeah, you know, I met someone and got married and now we've got two kids and, and, you know, I decided along the way there that it was just like, Hey, I'm not going to fucking be there sometimes. Sometimes people are going to ask me a fucking question. And I'm not going to have a fucking immediate answer because I'm going to fucking live my life, you know, especially in the middle of the fucking pandemic and everything else. And, you know, so, you know, my schedule got weird and erratic over the last few years because I just, I want to be able to hang out with the fucking kids. And it's like, I was always putting in a minimum of 40 hours, uh, on, on the job, but I was not going to be willing to put in 80 anymore. You know, I was not gonna be willing to do the 60 hour week that, you know, like, unless there was a damn good reason to do it, you know, E3 and stuff, you know, like, like the game of the year, you know, like the, the big moments where you go like, well, this is just what this is. And this is how we have to do it. But like, nah, man. And if that, if that, if I can't, you know, if I can't work a like reasonable schedule and by reasonable, I mean a minimum of 40, you know, and do this job effectively, then that's, that's not, I don't want to fucking do it that way anymore. And I certainly don't want to like take the people that report to me or whatever and try to force them down the same fucking broken road that I went down. I'm like, no, fuck that. not for these people, not for any people. Uh, and so I, you know, So yeah, I, you know, and, and that's caused a bunch of weird sacrifices and splits. And, you know, there's just a bunch of people I don't keep up with anymore because I got kids and I'm trying to do this job and, you know, that doesn't leave a ton of room for, for, and I, and I've always been bad at reaching out to people anyway. Um, and keep it, keeping in touch with people that I don't see on a regular basis. And that was the weirdest thing about, you know, be not being there anymore is like the people that I was working with were the only people I was talking to on a regular basis other than my wife and kids. And now it's my wife and kids, you know, and I just, yeah, I, you know, and, and I'm on discord here and there talking to people and doing stuff, but it's like, I just don't, uh, I'm, I'm bad. I'm a real out of sight, out of mind kind of person. And that's bad for friendships and shit, but it's just like, you know, these kids are real young. And they're only going to be real young once. And, uh, it takes a lot of fucking time to try to do this stuff and try to be present for, for that stuff. And I'm going to do my best at it. And you know, if, uh, if there are people out there that don't like that, then I even fuck, I don't care. If there are people out there that's just like, you need to do more. Like, hmm. Um, it'll come a time. Like I said, I, I've got things I want to do on the other end of, you know, there's, there's places where I want this to grow that I want to, I would love to have a team in place to be able to do more. And, and so I've got ideas about what, you know, what this looks like five years from now and, and different versions, different variants about like, well, if we did this, this could be this and this could be this, you know, and, and I've spent a lot of time thinking about that because I do think that there's value in, in having a, a group of people working together, but, um, you know, that, that shit is, that shit takes time. That shit takes, uh, and then right now I'm really loving what I'm doing. I got ideas on how I want to expand the Patreon and, and, you know, kind of do more interviews and that's taken longer than I wish it did. And, um, but Hey, we'll get there. That's the, that's the hope, right?